few cutting edge technologies inspire such mystery and excitement as quantum computing. But what is quantum computing and what is it destined to change in our lives? First of all, a quantum computer is a new type of computer being developed that uses, instead of a normal processor, a special quantum processor that operates using principles of quantum mechanics. A classical computer, like the one you're watching this video on, whether it be an Android or a laptop, uses bits as its fundamental language of information. Bits are the ones and zeros you think of in computers. Without going too deep into how they work, that might be for another video, quantum computers don't use bits. Instead, they use what are called qubits, which is like a regular bit, but with a quantum spin. So what are these new machines good for? What do they do exactly? As it turns out, quantum computers have a vast advantage over classical computers when it comes to specific operations. So vast, in fact, that scientists often talk about the processing advantage of quantum computers in terms of exponential superiority. And we'll see just how extravagant the benefits get in this installment of Super Freaky Science. When considering quantum computers, it's important to note that we shouldn't just think of them as really super fast computers. While these computing marvels can exponentially outperform classical computers, as of now, it is only in computing very specific types of operations. And one of those operations is quantum simulation. A huge deterrent in studying quantum mechanics for scientists is the inability of current computers to simulate what's happening in the quantum universe. Unlike simulating events and conditions on the macro level, quantum mechanics on a classical computer just doesn't compute. This is something very exciting about quantum computers. Since they are already operating in the quantum world fundamentally, they have the ability to do quantum simulation. Researchers are extremely excited about the prospect of being able to accurately simulate circumstances of quantum mechanics and they think this will lead to incredible breakthroughs in understanding what is happening in the ever so mysterious quantum universe. In today's digital internet scape, our entire lives are online. And the thing that keeps our info secure, whether it be our credit card we're inputting on Amazon or our personal photos uploaded to the cloud, everything is secured using a common technique across the board. Encryption and public key cryptography have been proven time and time again to be a successful way to digitally secure our data. And with the way these techniques work, it would take a modern classical computer centuries, or in some cases, longer than the universe has existed, to crack a single one of these cryptographic keys. But in the modern world of quantum computers, that's just not the case. In fact, a quantum algorithm called Shor's algorithm could render pretty much all modern day cryptography useless. But don't panic, there's plenty of time for the internet to prepare by the time a quantum computer that is large enough is not only created, but available to the public. Shor's algorithm and quantum cryptography are both a result of a technology employed by quantum computers called quantum search. It's not exactly what you think of when you think of regular search on a computer. Instead of searching for an answer that already exists, which modern classical computers are very, very efficient at already, quantum search is more like searching for the correct solution out of billions and billions of possible answers. For example, passwords. If you created a very secure password that had upper and lowercase letters, a few numbers, and let's throw in some special characters like a dollar sign, it would take the most advanced classical supercomputer about 174 years to guess that password. And a quantum computer? about seven seconds if it had the same processing power as the supercomputer. Granted, the cutting edge isn't anywhere near creating a quantum computer that big, it's still worth talking about for comparison's sake. 
In this next concoction, stir together one part machine learning and one part quantum computing and get robots taking over the world. This new field of study takes advantage of the machine learning technology that already exists along with quantum computers' unique ability to model extremely complex scenarios. Classical computers manage the process while offloading the computationally difficult problems to quantum systems. It's sort of a team effort with quantum and classical computers, if you will. Experiments have already been successfully done where these systems teach themselves to recognize cars within images they're shown. Not great news for these guys. Development is continuing as bigger and bigger quantum computers are being created. When implemented, quantum computers would provide a serious fast lane to machine learning technology and the robots will be knocking on our doors. In biology, the ability to simulate large complex molecules is a major bottleneck in regular computers of today. Quantum computing changes that. With the ability to simulate large complex molecules, scientists can create all kinds of environments within the simulation to better test drugs and their effects on our body and health. Researchers are also experimenting with using machine learning implementations on quantum computers to better understand how DNA transcription and protein formation lead to certain diseases and thus how those diseases might be prevented. Macroeconomics and global financial markets have always been heavily dependent on cutting-edge technology, and quantum computing has already been tapped for this difficult job. Modeling markets with math is no easy feat, and economists and finance mathematicians have had their share of challenges. In the past few decades, computers and algorithms have totally taken over how markets fundamentally work. But where these algorithms are lacking, quantum computers are being used to refine the process, particularly when it comes to pricing stock options. Stock options are a derivative of stocks and require complex computations to price. A stock options price correlates to the underlying stock's price, but not always in the same way. Home. Since there are hundreds, sometimes even thousands, of different options that can be bought and sold per stock, Prices can fluctuate in varying ways in correlation to the underlying stock's price. Researchers are looking to quantum algorithms to improve this process, which would in turn create a more efficient market. And an efficient market where prices are as accurate as humanly possible stands to benefit the everyday investor. you can remember all the way back to number one of this video, we talked about using quantum computers to simulate quantum mechanics. Well, another plus to exploring the infinitesimally small world of the quanta is that it actually helps scientists understand the infinitely large world of the universe. Being able to model quantum mechanics accurately allows scientists to seek explanations for many of the most mysterious phenomena in the greater universe. Think things like black holes and neutron stars. These mysterious objects are a big question mark to us because they don't necessarily behave like classical physics tells us they should. That's because they are behaving by the laws of the quantum world, which becomes more and more clear to us as we are able to model it using quantum computers. Another side to this sword is that quantum computing makes it possible for researchers to model the Big Bang more accurately and to thus understand the history of the universe. It may come as a surprise, but it is actually incredibly difficult for a computer to generate truly random numbers. Computers use super complex algorithms to generate what are known as pseudo-random numbers. They rely on physical properties to seed their randomization algorithm, but they're still considered to be pseudo-random because they're relying on a seed number. And no matter how many fancy algorithms you run your seed number through, there's still bound to be some kind of patterns arising. Random number generation may sound like a trivial problem at first glance. After all, what else are random numbers needed for than like, say, video games or something? 
In fact, technologies like cryptography and data encryption rely heavily on a computer's ability to create random sequences of numbers. And if this process is compromised by predictable numbers, it's that much easier for an attacker to get in and steal your info. This is yet another area that scientists are excited to utilize quantum computers for. Since quantum physics is fundamentally random, truly randomly generated numbers can be created on the fly in quantum computing. The process takes advantage of the fact that certain events on the quantum level, by principle, cannot be predicted. Which is pretty confusing if you're trying to understand the universe, huh. but when you need some random numbers generated on the fly, what could be better? Thanks for watching Super Freaky Science and don't forget to subscribe.